Greetings Hawkers, Pyot here, and in this guide, we're gonna go get the six parts of the authorization code in the endgame of System Shock Remake. Now, if you are not familiar with the design philosophy of games like this, old school dungeon crawler slash immersive sims, you will be baffled at what you should be doing here. At some point, you get a memo from Richie. You have to be in engineering. And if you search real well, you get this memo. It says, we can't override Shodan. Everything we try fails. He's using the CPU nodes to scramble things. That means that the CPU nodes that we've been finding are scrambling the authorization code. Now, if we can take down the CPUs on levels 1 through 6, we can get the digits of the system authorization code. What does that mean? If we go to the map, you'll see that we have everything we visited so far. You cannot have visited security or bridge up to this point you visited all the rest though reactor is minus one for b1 and then it's medical research labs maintenance storage flight and executive those are one to six and we have to revisit every single node room once again to get one digit from each one of these this code will then be applied at the reactor core to start the meltdown. We're going to start from engineering because this is where we get the memo. And as you can see, I have my map open. It's all explored, 0% security. And if you see me, I'm right here, a bit to the east from where the recycler is. I'm zooming out so you can see it, zooming back in. And we will go into this elevator... And we will get to executive. Now, I'm not going to go all the way from its elevator to our, my destination because this is going to take a thousand years. But I will show you how to reach each point on the map. Let's go. Executive. This is the sixth level. This is pretty straightforward. We're coming out from our previously used generator. You just have to go on a straight line pretty much. I'm going to cut the segment when I crawl through the duct so this doesn't take a thousand years. So eventually you reach this duct. You can see where I am here. I unavoidably you reach this place before because you would not have made it to engineering otherwise. And now we're going to go through this and reach the maintenance conduit. So here we are. As we enter the room, you can either get the code from up here, but I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. So we'll have an easier time moving forward. You go down. These are the CPU nodes. And this is our flashing number. This is six. And it's our sixth number coincidentally and no it will not be six for you as well this is randomly generated every time you start a new game so write down your number and let's continue so we're back by the elevator where we started this segment you can see i'm here now to exit executive easier we're gonna use the teleportation device you drop hit the left you come back here, hit this panel, and it will open up the elevator that you see up there. We exit through this, and miraculously we are here, very close to the elevator we want to be using. You can see the elevator here, summon it, and from this elevator we can go to maintenance so we just exited the elevator it's right behind us as you can see i open my map you can see i am here it's just a small trek to the right we'll reach this room where we used to analyze the arrays go into maintenance office here you go to the right the number is right here it's three it's kind of strange that our 6th level had the number 6 and our 3rd level has the number 3, but it is what it is, so don't fret about it. It's number 3 in my case, might be number 5 for you, or any other number from 0 to 9. 
Now, from this elevator that we were, we don't want to cross and get there. We want to take the storage lift from this room where the recycler is. So I am here. I open my map. You can see my location. This was the elevator where we started. And this is our current position. And from this we can hit both storage and flight deck. I'm going to let you see what we need here. We have maintenance cleared. And we have executive cleared. So if we go to flight deck, it would be our fifth code our code for this level is in this contaminated room this is the elevator that we used you cross the electric bridge you go to the right make a whole run across this corridor and end up here you will have to be fast of course because there is radiation if you have radiation shielding the environmental protection pack you should activate it i'm activating it now Run inside, all the way here to the back, and it should be up there, it's zero in my case, get the hell out of here. So, as you can see, I'm on flight deck, this is one, two, three, four, five, the fifth, and my code is zero, might be any number for you, but in my case it's zero, and this is the location have to go back to this elevator now and continue our quest. We are once again in the freight elevator. You can see the electric bridge in front of me. And now we're gonna hit storage. Storage is the fourth level and that means this is the fourth code. You see level four, left and right. Go straight down. The recycler is here. Here's our position on the map. You open this door. You're gonna start hearing a humming. You see a Richard's pile on there. Get in here. And here the humming will be much stronger. We are where we want to be. And for my case, the number is 7. Might be something different for you, but for me, 7. And you can see where we find the code. We will be going back into the freight elevator. And we will hit maintenance again. What's missing now is medical and research. By approaching research, we are approaching medical as well. So you see the recycle station here. We open this and we see an elevator in front of us. This allows us to go to research. At research, you should be looking at this symbol right in front of you as you exit the elevator. With this symbol in front of you, take a sharp right and go into computer room. Simple as that, very straightforward, and here will lie your code. It's four for me, but it would be something else for you. So with research, we've cleared pretty much everything except medical. So even if you haven't gone to medical at this point, Deduction will give you the last number. For convenience, I'm gonna cover medical as well though. We are back at the elevator, we're gonna go left. If you have upgraded on the grav boots, this is even easier, but I'm gonna walk you there in case you don't have all the equipment required. At this intersection, we have to take a left. This is the lounge. And if we take bit more we can hit medical base of medical here's our elevator we go left if you open your map you can see that it's quite labyrinthine take another left here open this force door lean on the left side keep going now when you see this symbol this robot symbol open this door we are very, very close now. You can either go around or just drop from here and go down there. I activate my boots. And here you are. My number is 5. Might be anything for you. But this is the first level's code. So now that we have all the codes, we want to go back to research. 
and from Research's elevator we can go directly to the reactor core. This is the final stretch, we are in the reactor core. The reactor core is right here where I place this marker and we have to enter. I suggest you enter from this side, the initial entrance. We have to make a little trip on the railings to this spot to pull the lever and then jump down, take the grab lift all the way up and de put the code. So activate your anti hazard. You start getting irradiated as soon as you're in. Memorize the path. You pull this. This was impossible to do before, but now it's available. Drop. Swap this. And you are in front of the code platform. So for me, it's 543706. It's this code. As we got it, floor by floor. We're out. And you can escape via this grab lift that you just dropped from. What have you done? And you're in the clear. So, you solve it. Congrats. Hope this was helpful. If you enjoy watching horror and survival horror games, don't forget to subscribe. And either way, if this was helpful, Please don't forget to drop it a like. Until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always have a perfection. Cheers.